Hello folks, Kaz here from Blockhead UK. Let's take a long overdue tour around Blockfield's Ninjago district. We start with Ninjago City which sits next to the Pit Stop Diner and then the block which is topped off with Benny's Space Bar. I extended the Ninjago docks by adding a level onto each section which is situated just before the Grimm's Cove Lighthouse on its craggy outcrop. The jetty next to the lighthouse serves small craft while the water between it and the Temple Island allows larger vessels to sail up river. I have now finished the tiling on this bit too. Temple Island itself is a bustling hive of activity with a market and lions dancing in the street. This leads us to the older part of the district which houses Ejitsu Temple and Market. Across a small canal lies the Ejitsu Monastery with its traditional architecture sitting uncomfortably close to the block which houses T-Bone Butchers and the Squeeze Juice Bar. Hidden side shrimp shack nestles below a bridge to the virtual gaming arcade on the corner. Along the other side sits the Chinese restaurant, art cafe and block slug clubhouse, all in excellent position for the Ninjago monorail station. And finally back to Ninjago City itself. Let's take a closer look at each block. Next to Ninjago Bridge we have Scissors Hair Salon, and a mezzanine level waiting room for the monorail station. Golden Dragon Restaurant serves up the best Chinese food in the whole of Blockville and there's always a waiting list to book a table. The virtual gaming arcade on the corner will remain a mystery until I have published an in-depth video of it, but you may get some clues given how it is decorated with 3D signs. The Shrimp Shack is a popular destination for seafood around the docks area, with a fresh catch landed regularly by the shrimp boat moored opposite. T-Bone is the proprietor of the local family butcher's establishment. Keiko strolls along the quay outside the Ejitsu Monastery before preparing the traditional tea ceremony inside. All sorts of goods can be bought in the Ejitsu Market and Temple Fair next door. Traditional architecture abounds with the New Year Lion Dance celebrations in full swing. It looks like lifeguard Batman is coming to the rescue of a surfer who is in distress near the rocks. The lighthouse itself is reached via a rickety bridge spanning the gap between the craggy outcrop and Ninjago docks. Nothing much going on there apart from the poop patrol clearing up after two naughty dogs on the quayside. One of Wu's water taxis is ferrying a passenger under the bridge between Amy's Antiquarian Bookstore and Chang's Grocery Store. Pizza Soup Guy is doing a grand job advertising the city pizza van underneath the pit stop diner. And finally a few familiar faces are pottering about in Ninjago City itself. And now up to the upper street level. It looks like the pit stop diner is pretty quiet at the moment. And what's this? A lady has forgotten her shopping from the Lego store under Benny's space bar. The docks additional levels house a video gamer's apartment, wild style secret garden and golden dragon gems. The lighthouse keeper is on the upper balcony having a scan at the weather and watching the watercraft below. A couple of the New Year Lion teams are having a dance-off in the temple courtyard atop high poles. It looks like the light rail transit is passing Ejitsu Monastery on the elevated track. Do I spot ninjas scaling the building? Meanwhile, Emmett is getting a smoothie from his favourite juice bar, with General Mayhem not far behind. Messrs Banana and Melon are doing a good job advertising. This level of the virtual gaming arcade houses a different themed adventure, while you can book a balloon ride in the tourist office on the roof. The Flying Carpet Art Cafe is doing a brisk trade today, but the Block Slug Clubhouse above looks quiet. 
the monorail station has a few patrons buying tickets for the next train. Round the corner there's a commotion going on. What's this? Looks like all the Block Slug Sig Figs are queuing up for an exclusive event at the Lego store. No wonder their clubhouse was empty. And now for a little fly past around the parts of the inner docks, which shows the rear balconies of the art cafe, station coffee hut, pit stop diner tables and other advertising. Yes, there are definitely ninjas in training here. There's also a rooftop garden above the juice bar with a great view across the inner docks. It looks like Batman is having a paddle in croc infested waters. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Blockville's Ninjago district. I have a list of individual videos showing each block in detail in the comments below, with more to come or watch the Ninjago District playlist. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see new content when it is released.